Hey everybody, this is Brett with Summit Automotive and today I'm going to be showing you how to put your Sunrider top on your Jeep Wrangler. We got our very first high tide in and these come standard with the Sunrider top. So I'm going to go over all the steps that it takes to put that Sunrider top on, all the tools that you need and everything and step by step how to do it. Uh, we also did a demo on how to take your hard top off of your Jeep Wrangler JL. If you want to check that out, it's linked in the description below. And it's also going to be at the end of this video in a link as well. So click those, check those out, and uh, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to go over everything that you need to put your Sunrider top onto your Wrangler. And uh, before you get started, you're going to want to make sure you have everything that you need, not get halfway into it and be like, oh, I can't do it. So. First off, you're going to want to grab your toolkit that came with your Wrangler. You're going to need the uh, wrench and, of course, the T40 bit. And then, uh, so you got to have that ready. Your Sunrider top should have came with a bag. And in that bag is a little strap right here. That's for the end. And then six bolts that come with the vehicle. There's also instructions that come with it. If you didn't get these instructions, um, maybe I'll do close-ups of these at the end of the video so you can pause it and maybe make a picture off the internet or something. Anyways, those are all your instructions and then you get this block here. This is an important piece that should have came with your stuff. And like I said, if you don't, if you don't have any of this stuff, maybe you can go online and find it. And I'll, maybe I'll link some things in the description below uh, to stuff where you can find it. But anyways, you're going to want your case for your front hard top pieces because you're going to keep those nice and safe since they are color matched on this one. You're going to want to have a ladder as well and you're going to want... So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously take your front hard top pieces off. There's a bunch of quick disconnects in here. It doesn't really matter which order you undo these, but there's these three quick ones. And then there's three quick ones on the other side as well as that latch and there and we'll get that one in just a second and then we can take the top pieces off now that you have all the latches undone underneath you're going to want to take these hard top pieces off this is where you want to grab your ladder uh, just because you don't want to not that they're too heavy but they're just kind of a weird shape and bulky and you don't want to chip the paint because they are color matched so you want to start on the driver's side just uh, lift up grab both sides and lift like so you're going to want to have your bag set up somewhere that you can put them in right away i got it set up just off camera. Now I can grab the second one without the ladder, but and we can go on to the next step. So now that you have your front hard top pieces off and in their bag, you're gonna want to get your Sunrider top and put it on here. The instructions recommend that you get two people to do it. I'm pretty confident that I can do it myself. It's not that heavy uh, and the trickiest part is gonna be getting it out of that box, um, which we'll do right now. So the first time that you get your Sunrider top out of the box, it's gonna come with this kind of styrofoam stuff, packaging. Just take that, you don't need it. But uh, the trick is to use this box and it's got foam inside of it that you can reuse. And I'll show you here. If we can get this box to slide out of here nicely. So you can see it comes on this sliding piece of cardboard. It would be helpful if I had two people to get this out. But anyways, you can see that it's on its own little case here. You can take this part of the box and just kind of get rid of that. But you can reuse this part of the box again because it's got foam pieces that this sits on 
and kind of, protect, and kind of protects it. So um, next step, putting this on top of the Wrangler and then we just have to bolt it down. I'll show you how to do that. All right, we'll get the Sunrider top on it right now. Make sure you, and trust me, this works way better with two people uh, than one person. So you may want to grab a friend. The trick is to make sure that we get this edge over the lip. So if you don't get it over the lip right away, it's really, really tricky. So now that that is in place, you can uh, do your clamps down and we'll get those going in just a second. So I'm gonna bring the camera around and show you exactly what's going on underneath here. So this is how the Sunrider top should look once you get it on your Wrangler properly. It should be nice and snug. Everything should be flush and these pieces should be able to close easily and then you wanna see, make sure that this piece is snugged up to that hard top piece so that you don't get any leaks and uh, then you know it's in the right place. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab your bolts. So they give you a, these two bolts for this piece. So the one with the little rubber end on it goes right here. And the reason they do that is so that you don't wreck your paint when you're putting it on. Now, in the instructions, Jeep recommends to get a torque wrench and to torque these bolts up to 8.8 .8 foot-pounds of torque. I don't have a torque wrench for this application since we're just doing this for a demonstration, but if you want to um, be very thorough and follow the instructions perfectly, get a torque wrench and tighten these to 8.8. .8. For our application, we're just gonna use the one that Jeep gave us and I'm just going to snug them up. This one was pretty snugged up. And now we'll do the other side and then I'll show you exactly how it works. Pretty easy to do. Uh, the hardest part is actually just getting it up here and uh, making sure everything is nice and square and on there perfectly. That was the biggest problem I had doing this. But it's actually pretty easy once you get it. Once again, 8.8 .8 foot pounds torque. We're just gonna snug them down like so. Now the last piece you're gonna have to do is the piece that goes on there. So we'll grab that and put that on. All right, so this is the final step to getting your Sunrider top on. You're gonna wanna grab your piece right here that Jeep gave you. And this is the final step. So I did this with the stationary cap camera so that you can see um, what I have to do here. So this piece is gonna basically clamp down and hold this into place. So you're gonna wanna use two hands to pull this down. These bottom pieces go under these two pieces and this top piece is gonna go on top of there. So it kind of clamps it. But you're gonna wanna have two hands to do this because it will slide right into place once you got it down enough. And then you're gonna to wanna to take your two bolts that came with your kit and just put those in there. Now the instructions say to use 3.7 foot-pounds of torque to tighten these up. Once again, I don't have my, torques, my torque wrench, so I'm just gonna use the uh, one that they gave me with the kit. We're just gonna tighten those down fairly tight. Just snug them up. They probably don't want you putting too much torque on these because this is plastic and they just probably don't want it breaking. 
So uh, nice and snug is good enough and uh, for now, and I'll show you how this top actually works. So the last thing that you can do to secure your Sunrider top is to put this down like so, and then this will actually just clamp down and then it's nice and secured. But to get this up, all you gotta do is do that. And it's spring loaded, so you just have to kind of pull it down a little tighter and it'll automatically open like that. And then you can grab this piece right here and it just goes up like so. So you get the open air feel, feel without having to deal with the front hard top pieces, which is pretty nice. Um, and then they give you these little straps. There's two of them, one for each side, but basically they go underneath this bar right here and then around and you got to make them nice and tight. I'm sorry, make it nice and tight so that they don't go anywhere and they're Velcro. So uh, that's basically so this doesn't open back up. So that's the whole thing and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. So as promised, here are the instructions for uh, the Sunrider hard top or Sunrider top installation. Feel free to pause this. There is everything that you need. There's the first step of taking those pieces off. You're supposed to clean it, they say. And then putting that top piece on your bolts with the torque specs. And there is that last piece. And there are your straps. So you're supposed to wrap it around there twice. And that's it. Well, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the video today. And if you have any questions, just write them in the comments below. I check YouTube every day so I can answer them there. And if you wanted to check out that video on how to take your JL hardtop off, that's gonna be in the upper left-hand part of the screen, a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the upper right, a link on how to take your doors off of your JL Wrangler in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos, actually the video I'm gonna do on this vehicle in the lower right. So check those out. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for checking out the video and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.